We all love a good horror anthology movie, don't we? It's a great way to collect multiple stories that might not be suited for a full length feature and tie them together somehow, either by team or with a wraparound that brings it all together. Today I'm exploring a low budget British one that was released to little fanfare back in 1983. Is this a hidden gem or am I wasting my time and now yours? Let's find out. I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror and this is my review of Scream Time. Scream Time starts out with a wraparound, which shows us two men in the late 20s or early 30s stealing horror movies on VHS from a video store. Good times. They head over to the sister of one of these dudes and decide to crash at her place and watch the stolen goods for the rest of the night. The first tape they watch is called Killer Punch. It tells the story of an elderly puppeteer who only finds happiness in his life when he is performing with his puppets outdoors for the joys of children. He has a wife and a stepson, but none of them are too happy about the time he's spending with his puppets. They both think he's a loser and they are planning to move to Canada and will only bring him along if he destroys his beloved puppets. Damn you, Jack! Damn your puppets! You want me? You, you chuck them out! All of them! Right now! His stepson is taking out his teenage angst on him and goes too far one day when he attempts to burn the beloved puppets. In typical good old horror fashion, the elderly man gets his revenge when his only friends in life, his puppets, starts to take matters into their own little hands. This is kinda like an earlier British version of the Puppet Master, which is pretty cool. I did like the elderly Puppet Master guy and it was easy to make him sympathetic as his wife and stepson were quite the assholes towards him. The story lacks time to breathe though and it feels like a longer film that has been cut down to become a short story, which all of these are by the way. I would have liked more on this one, more character development, and that we actually got to know the puppets a bit, or at least see them more before they start to come to life. The second segment is called Dream House, and it is a supernatural story of a newly married couple who moves into a new house where something strange and weird is going on. Especially the wife, Sue, is experiencing horrific visions and it goes so far that they decide to bring a medium in to try to figure out what is going on. This starts out feeling a bit like a cliché haunted house film, but it does keep a twist for the ending that changes the entire story. I liked the twist, but I didn't care much for the ride to get there. There was potential here, but there wasn't anything creepy or spooky to be found, and it surprisingly enough felt like it dragged for a bit, which is too bad as a low budget aesthetic fits well with a haunted house type of story. The last and final of these three stories are called Garden of Blood, and it deals with a down on his luck guy who are out to make some quick bucks. He gets a nice gig as a gardener at the house of two eccentric elderly women. They tell him stories about the house and the fairies that protect it, but what gets the attention of this young man is the amount of cash they keep locked up in one of the rooms. One night, he gathers a few of his friends and decides to do a robbery attempt on these old ladies, but of course, things do not go as planned. This one had some good stuff in it, mostly the two kooky old ladies played by Dora Bryant and Jean Anderson. They were the most fun characters in this entire anthology, and I appreciated them for bringing some more life into this as most of the other characters come off as too bland. They could have embraced the silliness more and amped up the comedy, which would have been welcome at this point after the two previous segments, which both were made with a serious tone. That's the three stories and with a few minutes to finish up the wraparound, Scream Time is over. It's what you could expect from a horror anthology that took three previous short films and tried to mix them together into a coherent full feature film. The stories are mostly decent and there are signs of potential to all of them, but lack of either resources or talent made none of them stand out in any sort of way. This is far from the great days of British anthologies like the ones we got from Hammer or Amicus and the potential audience for this is quite slim. Scream Time is a mediocre film that I doubt I'll ever revisit or remember much of, but if this looks like a film that you might enjoy, then sure, hunt it down and give it a go. Scream Time gets every score of 2.5 out of 5. That was my review of Scream Time. Have you seen this film? What were your thoughts on it and how would you rank the different segments? If you can't get enough of horror anthologies, then I have reviewed another obscure one called Telegram from 1990 that you might want to take a look at. 
leaving a like and or a positive comment both helps the channel and lets me know that you want more of this kind of stuff. Thanks to all of you who keep supporting the channel and I hope you see you all again for more horror movie content here on Cinema Terror.